Yay! It's May 2021. We've made it because 2020 was a lot. Hunter's chair, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. Can you believe everything's happened in just a year and a half's time? Look at all the changes that have come about. I mean, we're Zooming. I never even heard of Zoom before. And when I leave the house, it used to be glasses, keys, wallet, phone. Now, glasses, keys, wallet, phone, mask, hand sanitizer, gloves, wipes. So much has changed, but I think there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But I do want to tell you about one thing for me that didn't change at all. And that is my New Year's resolutions. I've been making the same resolutions for decades now. And no, it's not to exercise and lose weight, though. Might not be a bad idea. I call it my COVID-19. Okay, my COVID-22, but that's not the point. Those aren't my resolutions. My resolutions are as follows. One, always have a bottle of champagne in the refrigerator. Two, be nicer. I'm only really good at one of them. Care to guess which one? I'll end the suspense. Right now, I've got about four bottles of Prosecco, sparkling wine, cheap champagne, chilling on the top shelf of my Frigidaire. And they are ready to be opened for a celebration or a pick-me-up or for no good reason at all. And hey, if you're in the neighborhood and you need to be cheered up or pick-me-up or a celebration or for no good reason at all, come on over. We'll sit out on the deck, socially distanced, we'll pop a cork together. Cheers. I've got that one down. The other one, not so much. I try to be nicer. I really, really try. But even when I'm working my hardest, it seems like nobody notices. It's like all my virtue is in a void. For example, I'm sure you've been caught at the checkout line at the supermarket behind somebody who's having a prolonged conversation with the cashier. Now, before my resolution, I was a perfect passive aggressive Karen. I cross my arms, stop my feet, roll my eyes, and uh, I was this far away from calling a manager. But with my resolution, I had an epiphany. We all need human contact. We all know that now more than ever. Maybe that person having that conversation with the cashier, that's the only time all day they get to actually talk to another person face to face, maybe even all week. I should let them have that conversation. And I do. Sometimes I even join in. Oh, I've tried that kind of bread. It makes great toast. I don't get a lot of responses. Virtue in a void. And that's not the only place it happens. Let me tell you something about me. I did not get my driver's license until I was well into my 20s. And I failed four driving tests. One, because I almost hit a pedestrian. And one, because I actually did hit a parked car. Mm, then after I got my license, I let it expire and had to do the whole thing all over again. So it is fair to say I am not Daytona 500 ready. People have been telling me, you drive like a little old lady since way before I became a little old lady. And that's okay. I will own it. I obey the rules of the road. I drive the speed limit to the mile. I stop completely at flashing red lights. Now, my adherence to the rules of the road don't go over well with everybody. I've been tailgated. People have sped up next to me and cut me off. They beat their horns, flashed their lights. They made gestures and even cursed. And then we all pretend it didn't happen when we meet up at the light. Now, before my resolution, I may have replied in kind. I may have gestured or beeped a little, but not anymore. Now, I just think to myself, you poor dear. I bet you have to go to the bathroom. Really? Really? Badly. And you're so close to home. I know you can make it. 
Godspeed, fellow motorists in intestinal distress. You got this one. And poof, my road rage has disappeared. Does anybody notice? Virtue in a void. But that's okay. I'm going to continue with my resolutions. Because Dr. Jill Biden said, how do you heal a wounded nation? The same way you heal a wounded family. With love and understanding and small acts of kindness. Well, Dr. Biden, I'm going to keep my resolutions. Hey, you can keep them too. Let's all be a little bit nicer to each other. Well, all year, 2021, 22, 23, and beyond. I'm keeping that resolution. I'm also keeping the resolution to have that champagne in the fridge at all times. Lots of champagne. Contest master.